Hi, this is John Stoll, and welcome to my new True Fire chorus, Modern Jazz Progressions. In my experience, intermediate to early advanced players do a good job negotiating basic sets of changes, turnarounds, situations like 2-5-1s, standards, etc. But sometimes they tend to be a little intimidated by changes that are moving more quickly or more complex harmonic language. So the purpose of this course is to break that more complex harmonic language down into simple components and then plug them into turnarounds like 2-5-1s or basic minor or dominant blues and by doing so help you negotiate those more complex changes and progressions more easily. For example, a progression that you encounter thousands of times in jazz, and popular music too for that matter, is a 2-5-1-6-2-5-1. It's a little turnaround. So I'm going to start with a basic 2-5-1-6-2-5-1 and walk you through that playing basic chord tones, basic arpeggios. And that's probably a sound that's familiar to you already. But then we're going to begin to slowly move through more complex versions of that doing things like taking the two chord, and instead of making it basic minor seven, I might make it melodic minor and introduce the major seventh over the minor chord. I might take the dominant chord and introduce some tensions, allowing for a more complex resolution with the five chord. We'll do this by degrees and work through it slowly, so that by the time we get to versions four, five, and six, I think we'll work up to it in a logical way that will make sense to you. We'll also be working through minor and dominant blues progressions. These are 12-bar blues progressions, starting with very basic chords, three, four chords, for the most part, not complicated. And in the same way that we work through more complex versions of the two five ones, we will do the same thing with both the dominant and minor blues, adding additional harmony, two five ones, chromatic harmony, cycles of fourths, and so forth. The way I'm going to present the material in this course is highly interactive. We're going to do three things with each progression. G7, two dominant. First, I'm going to talk you through the harmony and give you a little roadmap from the simple progressions through the more complex ones. Five, me. Then I'm going to take a solo on these progressions, talking you through how I'm thinking about and internalizing or soloing over these changes. Four dominant, four minor, flat seven and dominant. And then we're going to play together, trading choruses essentially. And I will still be talking a little bit as I'm playing, and then talking you through the changes as you play to give you that roadmap as you improvise. Two dominant, five. You, F7, E half diminished, A. You will have the rhythm tracks to practice along with. You will have the charts so that you will see exactly what I'm playing in terms of the harmonic roadmap. And we're also going to have some of my solos transcribed so that hopefully some of my ideas will serve as some inspiration for some of your own improvising. So enough talk. You have a good sense of the content of the course and how we're going to present it. We have some work to do. Let's get started. <laughs> 